Hey, what's up everybody? 2016 RAV4, I'm doing the front brakes. After you have it jacked up securely and safely, you want to pop this front hubcap off. You can use a flathead or whatever it is to kind of pop it loose and you can pull it off. The next is going to be a 21 millimeter socket to get the lug nuts off. Uh, there's about five of these guys. We'll go ahead and get these off. I'm using an air gun, but you could probably use just a wrench at home. Uh, once you get those lug nuts off, let's go ahead and pull this wheel off and set it to the side safely out of the way. Okay, that's good. Okay, so after that, uh, I got our rotor here and our brakes. I'm doing the rotor and the pads. The caliper bolts are here. It's a 14 millimeter here and on the bottom a 14 millimeter as well. Um, I'm replacing the rotor and the pads. So if you're just doing pads, you could just take the caliper off and put your pads into it and save the rotor. But I'm doing everything so the bracket's got to come off too. And the bracket right here is a 17 millimeter. Um, top and bottom similar to the caliper bolts so i'll be showing you how to get those off so well let's go ahead and get started here got my 14 millimeter wrench i'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom caliper bolt off i'm only going to take the bottom one off and i'll show you why in a sec but uh, let's go ahead and get this guy out now once this guy is out i'm going to kind of just lift this caliper up and then I'm going to slide it backwards and then the top slide pin will just come out so I won't really have to uh, get it out. Now you don't want to hold it up like, like this high because it's going to flex the, the, um, the hose. So what I do is um, I'm going to kind of just bring it down like halfway and then just slide it backwards. See if you try to do it right here it'll just stress the hose out. So you do it about right here and then just kind of wiggle it and uh, push it backwards now you don't need to do it this way you could take that top caliper bolt off if you'd like um, and then you know just take the caliper will come off easy that way too I'm gonna go ahead and set this caliper uh, right over here I'm just gonna tuck it in the control arm area it's supported the brake line is not stressed you could also hang it a lot of people hang it um, I know that I'm gonna get comments saying I should hang it but it's fine right there it's not the brake line is not being stressed Okay, so here's my pads. These are aftermarket pads. I'm going to get rid of these. I think these are what's causing my noise and pulsation because uh, they overheated the rotor. Um, these have aftermarket shims on them. I'm going to get new shims too. I'll show you what's up with that. Just, you can take a flathead and just kind of push these pads out. All right, so uh, now I'm getting my rotor off as well, so I need to take the caliper bracket off. If you're just doing pads, and put your new pads in right here, and then skip ahead of the video how to put the caliper back on. But this, cal this caliper bracket is coming off because I'm replacing the rotor. So it's the 17 millimeter bolts. Just go ahead and get these off. These are gonna be tighter than the caliper bolts, but they're not that bad. You could easily do them in your driveway. So, got my caliper bolts off, put my bracket to the side, and then here's my rotor. Now, this thing is rusted on, so there's two things you could do. You could run a bolt through here and here. There's these threads on the rotor to push this off the hub, but um, what I'm going to do is just put my lug nut on. All right, and then I'm going to hit this in the back. Now, if you're getting a new rotor, you could use a real hammer, but if you're using, if you're going to reuse the rotor, hit it with a rubber mallet so you don't dent it or ding it, because then it'll be hard to machine. Uh, I'm getting rid of mine, so I could just hit it with my, with my real Thor hammer here, and then um, take it off. And um, sometimes the thread part doesn't work if you run a bolt in those threads, because the threads will strip out if it's rusted too much. But uh, either one of these ways, you should be okay. So I'm going to get my rotor off here. And then if you were going to go get this machined out of shop, this is the time to go do it. Um, here's my new one. I already matched it up. Here's my part number. This part number is from Toyota the dealer. So I, I got this from a Toyota dealership. This is a fresh new OEM rotor. Got my OEM pads here. These are the part numbers for them. And um, I'm, I'm going to get shims. So I had to get a shim kit. Uh, these go with the OEM Toyota pads. I have a video on Toyota shims. You, you probably want to go watch it if you want to learn more about it. There's it's just some things you need to know. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead and put my shims on right here. Um, you could check out that video. Just type in Guillermo Auto Toyota shim kit. All right, so I got my little sensors on top. And I got my shims on. And now I'm going to put these in. If you get aftermarket pads, the shims come already attached most of the time. So uh, I cleaned off my new rotor with some brake clean and a rag because uh, sometimes they have like packaging grease on them. I'm gonna I lube my slide pin right here. 
and I, I put a little lube on the other one as well and I took a wire brush and cleaned out the hardware on this caliper bracket and then I put my caliper bracket back on so I uh, got these nice and tight I'll put the uh, torque specs in the description once your caliper brackets tight we can put our new pads in a little spacer um, sensor goes on top because it also helps it not shift it's like a brake sensor and like a shift preventer I get those both in so uh, those go on the little spacers go on top now I'm gonna use this to compress my caliper piston this has to be pushed in for, to fit over the new pads um, this is a tool I got it's a lethal brake caliper depressor there's you could google ways to compress a piston if you don't have a brake tool okay so I got that pushed in so uh, once the caliper is ready you could just slide this top pin in and then we'll slide it forward and just gently put it down over your pads if it doesn't go down then something's up you know just kind of uh, find out what's going on it should go down pretty smooth sometimes the bottom pin kind of sticks out too far and you got to kind of like pump the air out of it so I'm going to go ahead and get my caliper bolt tight and uh, that's it guys hope this video helps you out thanks for watching